Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Cronaya's Kitchen. I know you guys miss me. I know you haven't been seeing me post lately, but um, I've just been going through a lot. And plus, I've been working on my other YouTube channels. You know, I have four YouTube channels. I've been working on posting one or two times a day on my other YouTube channels. And, you know, I've just been having a lot going on. So, um, I'm going to cook up a quick meal tonight, you guys. This climber is a quick meal. I'm still tired from that Thanksgiving meal. And I'm still tired from the other meals that I've been cooking lately that I wish I could have recorded and posted. But this is going to be a quick meal, this climber. So, don't judge me for, for using everything that's pre-cooked. So, this is going to be a lazy night because i am tired and i've been going through a lot lately so i'm just gonna do like a little easy meal or whatever we are doing beef stir fry tonight usually i would um cook my beef and um i would cook like the little beef flanks you know cook it up real good or whatever but tonight i'm just gonna do some little beef fajitas i'm just gonna do the little beef fajitas as you can see right here which is you know kind of like pre-cooked it but you gotta like cook it down or whatever so I'm just gonna cook it with the beef fajitas tonight, you guys. Like I said, like a lot of the times um, when I do beef stir fry, I do it the non-lazy way, which is I cook it with the um, I cook it with the beef flanks. You know, just cook it up real good. The little, you know, the little pink meat. But tonight I'm doing it the lazy way. You guys, I miss you all, and I'm so happy to see you guys right now. I miss you a whole lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some olive oil in my skillet. I know some of you may choose to do um, vegetable oil, but I don't like doing vegetable oil anymore. So I do either olive oil or grapeseed oil in my skillet. <clears throat> All right, so I also got the stove on medium high, by the way. I got the stove on medium high, and I got my olive oil in the skillet. So now I'm going to put the beef fajitas in there. Smell like it's already seasoned really, 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 really good. And I pretty much, you know, know that it already is. You know. So yeah, I'm just putting the beef fajitas in the skillet and I'm just gonna cook it down really good. I'm gonna season it up really good. You guys, this is my first time actually using these beef fajitas. This is my first time using it. Cause usually, like I said, I get like the little pink meat, the beef flanks and cook it up really good. But I'm just doing something quick and easy tonight. And I'm just gonna season it up a little bit. Just put like the little seasons that I wanna put in it. I'm going to do a little garlic powder. And this is by Laurie's. Garlic powder by Laurie's. I'm going to do some garlic salt by Laurie's. I got the black pepper, the peppercorn grinder. I love this grinder, you guys. The grinder is really amazing. I also have some premium, better than bouillon roasted beef base. I'm just gonna put like a little of this in there. Sometimes um, when I when I don't have the cubes, cause this is the base right here. Sometimes I take the base and put it in some water and just stir it up really good. But like I said, this is um, my lazy night, so pretty much not going to do that. I'm just going to take a little bit of the base and just put a little in here. Usually do it with a spoon, but like I said, lazy night, lazy night. So I put the beef base in there. So now that I got my beef base in there, I'm going to... Stir everything up really, really well. 
and get it all nice and stirred up. Also, you guys, I got my rice right here. I'm going to start cooking my rice because I have to, um, I'm going to do like a little bit of rice on the side. I'm only going to do a little rice simply because I'm doing beef stir fry pasta. Not pasta, but noodles. So, so because I am doing pasta, not pasta, but because I am doing noodles, beef stir rice, beef stir fry, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do like a little rice instead of a lot of rice. So I got my water in the pot, and I'm gonna put my pot on for my rice and get that nice and boiling. And I'm going to add the salt, pepper, and the butter to that. So the salt, pepper, and the butter can be boiling really nicely. And like I said, you guys, um, with that, by the way, like I said, because I am doing the pre-cooked beef stir fry that's already put together and I already got like noodles in, I'm only going to do like a little, little, little rice. Just a little rice. Because I don't want all that starch. But... Also, I did the pink Himalayan salt. It is by Badil. Just like I told you guys in my other videos, I've stopped using the other salt. I don't use the other salt no more simply because I know the girl that's on that salt thing, she done killed over a million black people. <laughs> but yeah, um, the, the pink Himalayan salt, it's just like more healthy for you versus the, the Morton salt. You know, the morning salt going to have you sitting up at the morgue. I'm just working on eliminating more and more seasonings because I know a lot of the seasonings that I have is unhealthy. So I'm, I'm really working on eliminating a lot of the seasonings that I have. I haven't got rid of everything yet, but I'm getting rid of it little by little. Little by little, just work with me. I'm gonna go and stir up the beef stir flanks. Not the beef stir flank, but the beef, the beef fajitas. I'm stirring up the beef fajitas. I got it on medium so I can go on and cook, cause like I said, I'm trying to go on and get up out this kitchen. Y'all gonna get it cooking all nice and good, stir it up really well. And I'm gonna stir it up some more in a little bit. Okay, now with my rice, like I said, I put Himalayan salt, I put pepper. And now I'm gonna put the butter in there. So I just put some butter in my rice. Put some butter in my rice, so I got that cooking. You guys, I got me a pan, cause I gotta do my rolls. I'm gonna do the sister sherbet rolls. The dinner yeast rolls, you guys, you can never go wrong with Sister Sherbert. Sister Sherbert have some great rolls, you guys. So, I like to cook my rolls, and then after I cook my rolls, I like to apply the butter after it's done. Now, I used to put the butter on there before I cook my rolls, um, but I realized that when you do it that way, it makes the butter like it's just real hard to put butter on rolls pre-cooked and it's way easier to put butter on rolls after you cook the rolls it is way easier to do it that way so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna sit my rolls in the oven but i'm not gonna cut the oven on yet because of course i gotta cook all this other stuff and also i'm gonna go on and cut this on medium high so i can go on and cook my noodles
as you can see this is the noodles that i'm talking about i'm talking about the pre-cooked well it's not really pre-cooked but it's the birds eye pre-made basically <laughs> it's by birds eye and it's the stir fry with veggies and sauce so it has a teriyaki sauce you guys and it has bell peppers onions corn green beans broccoli everything now usually i would add extra broccoli extra bell peppers extra onions extra corn usually i would add extra to this bag but we are low on our vegetables right now so we are low on our vegetables right now and because we are low on our vegetables i don't have no broccoli we just cooked the broccoli the other day ran out of bell pepper onions again because we use that with every single meal so i ran out of bell pepper onions again and i ran out of my extra green beans so we're just gonna cook it just like this you guys so and one thing about me and my husband, we love bell peppers and onions. Which y'all should already know. Anyway, if you watch my cooking videos, you know we love bell pepper and onions. And we literally put it on everything. To the point that a lot of times we don't even have bell peppers and onions here. Because we use it so much. And when we do use it, we use a lot of it. So, we stay running out. But, if you stock up on bell peppers and onions, they're going to be molded. and spoiled. I already tried it. So, don't even say, oh, stock up on bell peppers and onions. What you don't do is stock up on fruits and vegetables. I learned my list. So I got the I got the stove on medium high and I'm pouring my stir fry in here. By the way, you guys, like I said, this is the noodle stir fry. So it's pre-made with the noodles. That's why I said um when it's pre-made with the noodles, I just do like a little bit of rice. Because, of course, we don't need all that starch anyway. So, I just do like a little bit of rice. Because, of course, we don't need all that starch. We don't need all that starch. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now is. What I'm going to do now is, of course, I'm going to check and see if the rice see if the water is okay so the rice water is still boiling i like for it to get very hot before i pour my rice inside of it and you guys i've already cleaned off my rice um i know some people they don't like to clean their rice off um you supposed to rinse your rice off every time right before you cook it you supposed to rinse it off really good get all that starch and all the other stuff off it some people do it and some people don't you have some people they will rinse it off and some people they won't rinse it off so it's your preference your choice if you would like to rinse your rice off really really well before you cook it hey do it and if you don't want to do it before you cook it don't do it it's up to you your preference your choice your kitchen your choice my kitchen my choice just like i always tell y'all i always put that disclaimer out there and i always say my kitchen my choice your kitchen your choice so if you see something on my video that you don't like then you know what what you can do is you can say hmm i don't like what she's doing on her video even though i know you can cook this recipe a million ways yes i know that you can cook it a million ways but i just think that she should do it my way look but have that conversation with yourself do not comment down below telling me oh you should have did this oh you should have did that because i noticed that y'all do that in my comments and y'all do that in other people's comments too but you're not gonna do it in my comments let's get one thing straight all right you guys oh i just had to put that disclaimer out there so y'all can know and now you know um i'm gonna add a little bit more of this premium better than bouillon roasted beef base i'm gonna add a little bit more you guys just a little bit more so i can get it more beefy sometimes i use the beef bouillon cubes sometimes i use the beef base the premium beef base and sometimes i use the um sometimes i do the beef from scratch not tonight i'm not doing it from scratch tonight and sometimes i um like i said sometimes i do the little beef stock or the beef broth 
I keep beef broth on me, beef stock. I keep beef bouillon cubes. I keep chicken bouillon cubes. I keep the chicken stock, chicken broth. I keep all that good stuff, you guys. You can never go wrong when you have that. I'm just going to add a little water to this beef broth. Well, not beef broth, but... <laughs> I'm just going to add a little water to this beef base because I put a good bit of beef base in there. So I just add a little water to it. I just took like a little cup and just um, put some water in here. Sometimes, um, a lot of times I use my measuring cup and put, um, and put however much water I need. But as you can see, I just grab like a little cup, but that's okay. That is okay that I grabbed like a little cup. That's okay. You guys, I have my meat on medium high. I'm going to turn it down a little bit and just let it cook. It's turning out really well, by the way. I want you to see it so far. So this is how the beef fajitas is looking. I should have showed y'all a before and after because before it was... It wasn't looking good, but now it's looking really good, you guys. So, like I said, I had it on medium high, but I turned it down a little bit, of course. Um, the noodle, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna um take the noodles off of medium high and turn it down a little bit, also. And um, I'm gonna add some sesame seed oil right here. Ugh, smells weird. Okay, this is the sesame seed oil right here, 100% pure sesame seed oil, and it is by Imperial Dragon. I'm just going to put some of that on now. Not too, too much, but I'm just going to put it on now. Some sesame seed oil. I'm also going to do some soy sauce. I'm going to add some soy sauce in just a little bit. You guys, I was going to add some cornstarch to it, but I don't need any cornstarch. I don't need it simply because it is... um. It is thick enough. Like, if you see that your sauce is too, too watery, then you add um, cornstarch to it. But because my but because my sauce isn't too watery, I don't need any cornstarch because my sauce isn't too watery. I don't need any cornstarch because my sauce is not too watery. All right, you guys. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some brown sugar. I'm going to add some brown sugar to my noodles. I'm going to add some brown sugar. You guys, I always add my sesame seeds at the very, very end. I always add my sesame seeds at the very, very end. So with the sesame seed, I will be putting the sesame seed on there last. So I add my sesame seeds at the very end, of course. Because the sesame seeds are mostly for presentation. Well, to me, they are mostly for presentation. So, to me, they are. <laughs> I like the way sesame seeds look after you've been a cook it. And you put the sesame seeds on there. And it looks really, really good. All right, you guys. I put a little light brown sugar on my noodles. Light brown sugar on my noodles. I'm going to also show you guys what kind of rice I use. This is the kind of rice I use, by the way. That's the rice that I use. And when I tell y'all, that rice is so good. That rice is so good, so delicious. I'm going to cut my stove down a little bit more. Also, I'm going to go on and um, pour the rice in here. This is what I use for the rice. So I'm going to go on and pour the rice in here. Cause the water is nice and hot the water is boiling so i'm going to go on and pour my rice in here and get the rice cooking all nice and good it's looking really good you guys like i said i like to put the salt the pepper and the butter in there and let it boil down and once they boil really well i throw my rice in there to give it a good store and, and then after I stir it up really good, I cut my rice down a little bit. 
I cut it down just a little bit so it can um, cook well. And I don't want my rice to cook too fast. So because I don't want my rice to cook too fast, I like to cut it down. I'm going to cut the meat down a little bit more, by the way. I'm hoping I'm cutting the right one down. Nope. You guys, I done set up here and cut the wrong one down. <laughs> I done cut the wrong one down. So, I cut it down. I said no wonder the water ain't as hot as it's supposed to be. <laughs> I cut the wrong one down, that's why. So now you guys, now that I have put my brown sugar and my noodles, I'm going to cut up some garlic. Just like I told you, I don't have any bell peppers and I don't have any onions, sadly. But I am about to cut up some tomatoes and I'm going to cut up some garlic. So I'm going to cut up garlic and I'm going to cut up tomatoes. And I'm going to put it in my, go put it in my noodles. This is the garlic, by the way. I'm just going to do like, you know, just one garlic. And then right here I have the tomatoes. So, I'm going to rinse my tomatoes off. And when I rinse my tomatoes off, I'm going to cut my tomatoes really, really well. And I'm going to cut my garlic really, really well. And then I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to top this up, top everything up really nice. And I'll be right back. So, I have went back and added a little bit of premium, better than bouillon, roasted chicken base. I added just a little bit in my rice. Because it gives it that good flavor. And you know, because I do use a Himalayan salt. It doesn't add, like, you know, a lot of salt to it or whatever. And also, I added my two packs of teriyaki sauce to my beef stir fry. So, as you can see right here, this is a beef stir fry. I added my, um, like I said, I added the two packs of teriyaki sauce to my beef stir fry. And now I'm about to add my beef, my beef fajitas to my beef stir fry. Oh, I forgot to cut the line. Here go up right here. Can y'all see me better now? Yeah, you can see me better. So yeah, I basically forgot to cut the little light on my ring light. But um, oh, I'm kind of wasting this a little bit. But as you can see right here, this is the beef for the beef stir fry. Like I said, I went and added my own stuff to it. Oh, you guys, I forgot to put on my apron. Uh, because I usually have on my apron, like at the very beginning. This is my Thanksgiving apron, by the way. This is my Thanksgiving apron. I usually have it on, like, towards the beginning of me cooking. But I forgot to put it on. So, right now, I'm about to pour my beef, my beef fajitas with my beef juice that I made up. I'm pouring it in the pot now. So, as you can see, this is my beef fajitas. Pouring it in the pot. And I'm gonna stir it up really, really well. And I'm gonna get my rolls out the oven and put some, some butter on my rolls. And just like I told y'all, I like to put butter on my rolls after it comes out the oven. Because the butter makes it, the hot rolls taste way better when you put the butter on now after it's become heated. It's so delicious, so good, you guys. So, that's how I want to eat mine. So, now I'm going to stir everything up. I'm gonna stir everything up really, really well. I'm gonna need a smaller spoon, of course, to stir it up. I'm not gonna stir it up with this big spoon right here. I'm just gonna stir it up with this smaller spoon. Just stir it up really well. And then I'm gonna show you guys how it's looking. Like I said, I like to add my sesame seeds towards the end. So I'm about to add my sesame seeds. And I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. 
I might not even add the soy sauce because I did the sesame seed oil. Um, sometimes I don't do the soy sauce because, like I always say, soy isn't good for you. So, yeah. Especially the people that have soy allergy. So, I'm going to show y'all how it's pretty much looking. So, yes, you guys, this is how it's looking. And, of course, I'm going to put some sesame seed, some white sesame seed on there. And let me show y'all how it's looking after I put that white sesame seed on there. I'm going to have to stir it up also. With the sesame seed. Y'all, like I told y'all, I use sesame seed for the presentation. Not for the ingredients, but for the presentation. It makes it look a little better. But this is pretty much how it's looking. Hey, husband. Hey. This is pretty much how it's looking, you guys. I got to take my rolls out this oven. I hope they ain't burned. So I cut my oven off because I know it's, um, oh Lord, I forgot to cut that off. <laughs> I know my rolls by burn. All right, you guys, like I told you, this is going to be a simple night, simple meal, simple, 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 because I am tired. So everything wasn't did from scratch tonight, but that's okay. It's like I already told y'all, everything not going to be done from scratch tonight. No, no, no. Yeah, I forgot to put on my apron, but I put it on now. So I'm going to have my apron on my thumbnail. Thank y'all so much for supporting me, you guys. By the way, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for always supporting me, for watching my videos and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew. Thank y'all so very much for watching my video to the very last end. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can get notified every single time I post. Thank you. Bye-bye.